Propaganda is essential to any military campaign. Black people tend not to understand propaganda. And the reason why we tend not to understand propaganda is because the propaganda channels, the mediums, the conduits, the radio, the television, the newspaper, we tend to just treat as forms of entertainment. We don't see them as military strategy. When there's a movie depicting black people in a negative image, when there's caricatures in the newspaper making jokes about black people, we tend to just see it as political uh, entertainment. We don't see it as laying the foundation before the storm. That's exactly what they did in Wilmington. You always seek to create a context that allows your military campaign to be acceptable. There's always context. You study Adolf Hitler in Nazi Germany. He had a propaganda campaign that lasted over a year before he began to physically oppress the Jews. He had to make sure that the national mindset had been conditioned to accept the extermination to come. In Wilmington, North Carolina, the same exact thing happened years before Nazi Germany. Through the magazines, through the radio, through word of mouth, through stage play, they created negative images of black people in the minds of white folk in case there were any liberals who would have been against what they were going to do. They were slowly able to reform their opinion by constantly repeating negative information about the target population. See, the one thing about the brain that we got to understand is the creature of repetition. Whoever has the most access to the brain rules the brain. It's all about volume, not quality. The more you tell people that a certain group of people are no good, the more you show images, the more you show sounds, songs poem, dance, projecting negative information about a people, sooner or later, the subconscious begins to get conditioned automatically because you can't turn off the subconscious to what it sees and what it hears. Sound and image, you cannot stop it except to stay away from it. So sound and image are critical to any propaganda campaign because they help lessen the defenses of anyone who may be against what you're trying to do. It's the same thing happening right now. There is a direct assault on the image of the black man and woman internationally. So when mass incarceration, homicide takes place, nobody cares what's happening to black folk because they've already been conditioned to believe that these people are better off dead anyway. So propaganda is the first stage of military warfare. Right now, we're being set up for another extermination campaign. It's going to be worse than what went on in Wilmington, Tulsa, Charleston, Rose, what is going to be worse? Whenever the propaganda gets worse, then you know the extermination is going to be that much worse because you see how far the exterminator had to go in order to condition the people to prepare them for the carnage to come.